Ranger HQ here. A squad of BAMPs rolled up to Ranger HQ. Rough mercenary That's types. Ranger's Their leader goes enemy. by Gary Wolf. Claims hmm. to be an ex-Ranger. Says he has news for you about your old enemy. Seems like the cutthroat take no prisoner type. That name Over. sounds familiar. Yeah, I feel like I heard it before, but... Here we Are they causing any problems? That's a negative. Some hurt feelings and broken pottery, maybe. But they appear to be friendlies. Good to know the radio's still cutting off. Huh. No idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, we'll check it out. We'll be here, over and out. The first, the library. Where is the library? It's supposed to be near Market Square. So over here. Maybe I'll join the marshals. You do like rubbing people up. I'm sure they could use my help. Found him. City's really humming again, huh? It's great to see. Just wish they'd rebuild my house. Yeah, Where's that's it. Uh, uh, Hang on a sec. Uh, uh, hi. Where's Velvet? Why? Oh, she's clowning? taking her sweet time. On what? It's clowning? Nice to you. No, no clown books. Sorry. Oh, no, no you're still catching up. cloning. You know, using your own genetic material to make a new human. Oh, you mean fucking. Yes, <laughs> I've got plenty of books about fucking. What? No! No, not fucking! Cloning! It's how you make new humans without sex. Jesus. Why would anyone want to do that? <laughs> Are you in the conversation? Yeah. Okay. Tell me, Kimani is looking over the books on a merchant stand. What are you in there, boys, too? I'm going to see you to myself. I am. Um, what if we ask you some questions? Um. I guess. Wait, who are you? What do you sound around here? So, even, you know, helping out. Is your name Irv? Doing the thing again. Not like I can do anything about it. Yeah, you're saying. You found some papers in your apartment written by Irwin John Fister. Is that your real name? I. <laughs> Please don't tell the marshals. I'm one of his clones. Unfortunately, I'm fourth generation, at least. So, I'm not as smart as the original. Smart enough to, to use Dr. Finster's notes to get the cloning machine working again, but... But not smart enough to make good quality clones. I can't even make one as good as myself. And I'm not that good. Bits of me don't work very well at all. Is he still alive? That's kind of important. The original? No, n not anymore, but I guess, in a way, as long as I'm alive, he is too, because I'm him, aren't I? Or, I mean, I'm him, but not the part of him that wanted to wipe out the entire human race, right? Yeah? I, I wasn't... I wasn't suggesting... No. <coughs> You know the whole nature versus nurture debate? How some things are genetic and some things you learn? Well, that killing everybody part of him, that was nur- You believe me, don't you? Um... What kind of- uh, let's, uh, change the, let's change the subject on him. Oh no! Did you kill them? really have much of a choice! 
Well, yes. It was kill or be killed. Oh, poor Claude. They... They never really acted right. I, I, I screwed up the formula somehow. Why the fuck were you trying to make more clones? Tell us about this class. Well, well, I, I guess I'm kind of afraid to make friends the normal way, so I made them an abnormal way. Only, I didn't do it very well. The, when they came out of the chamber, there was something wrong with them. They were really, really stupid and, and really, really crazy. And they, they just got crazier day by day. If, if I hadn't run out of the apartment today, they would have killed me. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah, I'm a bad father. I'm a bad, bad father. What do you know about Dr. Finster? Because this part of the story actually does interest me. Oh, Dr. Finster was a genius. He's the only person in the world to have mastered the cloning of humans. He, he may have become a little paranoid at the end, but that doesn't lessen any of the good he gave to the world. Until he decided all humans had to die. He was a real humanitarian. <coughs> right. We believe you're not smart enough to threaten the human race. It's true. I'm not. I'm totally not. So, you're not gonna arrest me? What could go wrong bringing this idiot on board? Well, he's probably safer there than at the Lux apartments. Yeah, keeps him in headshotting range. You're gonna let me be a real scientist? This is the best! Hopefully you get him to so work in something besides I'll do screaming. good work for you, I promise. Thank you so much. I get the feeling that's gonna bite us in the ass horribly. Yep, me too. Okay, as long as we're on the same page here. Now what? Should we just head back to base? Well, first we should probably report to Rossi that it's dealt with. I mean, yeah, I guess. You know, that part should be a bit shorter. The area descriptions for the loading screen are, are even making me miss the loading tips. Getting the same one every time is kind of boring, you know? I'm not getting any, I just get a picture and a loading bar. Can you just get that description of the. It just says, The Sans Lux apartments provide the finest budget accommodations in Colorado Springs. Hmm. And it's been that exact same line every time. Well, I guess I'll rate them for you next time. No, no, I'm good, I'm good. Right. Any word on the loony and number three yet, Rangers? Hang on, let me. My god, let me interact. Thank you. We found the Irvan, he won't be coming back. About time. Gonna take me a week to clean up that mess. What was his deal, anyway? You don't need to know. Only for the best. Ah, serves me right for asking, I guess. Well, thanks anyway. Here's a little something for getting him out. Oh, my sciatica. Well, since this is probably the last time we'll be here, Rainbow 
cables used to break encryption. Um, I'm sorry, what? Did you see this guy? Uh, is he blue? Meet space demons intercepted. Display rendered objects and assigned translation vector. He's a synth! So it seems. Okay. Um, thanks? I take, I take nothing without knowing what it is. Alert. Do not delete local references to object. If memory allocation is null, then unhandled exception occurs. Ensure transactions in mempool always have unique keys. I'm sorry, what the fuck? I'm about to quick save. You're gonna open the box, aren't you? Of course I am. <laughs> like a fucking nuke or something. A simple metal case vibrates with a low horn. A metal latch is recessed on the top. Open the case. The case sounds a tiny beep as you start to pull the latch. Almost like an error alert on a computer. Continue opening the case. The low horn stops as the latch clicks and the case spring opens. The interior is lined with circuit boards now trained to power. Several electronic items rest inside. You collect them and discard the case. That's disappointing. Quick load. Okay, so we don't open the case. So opening the case breaks breaks whatever's inside, probably. Okay then. Mm -hmm. Uh, I got too curious for my own good and I looked into it. <laughs> okay. uh, it doesn't bite us in the ass. I'll tell you that much. But we also don't find out what the point of it is until like point of no return in the story. Okay then. <laughs> All I can say is, don't open the case and we're fine. As long as you don't open the case, and then we're good. It's the reason I quick save first. Yeah. Which is the same reason I'm quick loading now. Yep. Because whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it's worth more than dirty free in scrap. <laughs> um, yeah. You won't find much use for it, but, uh... I could. It's some kind of super weapon, isn't it? It's like the best armor in the game. Oh. Uh, we're talking... Uh, the helmet alone does 15 defense. Well done. Yeah, um, but we don't we don't get it till the fucking last chapter of the game, so bragging rights reward really for being good for, for being good boy and girl. Among other things, I guess. Okay, and I'm just gonna uh, unintentional unsigned wraparounds. So what the fuck? What the fuck is that? Just a sense just lounging, lounging around. Not even a well hidden one, given that he's, you know. Blue and... He, the way he's dressed alone draws attention to him. His skin, his dressing, the way he talks... He's definitely not making any attempt to hide it. HQ, I guess. Something like that. Talk to this other person and... Probably see how our new scientist is getting along. Yeah.
Right. HQ's over there. There's about a half dozen other things we could have done with with the nightclub. Hmm. That would have gotten different outcomes, like getting leverage that would have just let us. Getting leverage that would have just let Bry go. It would he would have just let us arrest him. That kind of stuff. Hmm. Oh well. Later playthroughs. Yep. I'm sure we'll come back eventually. Probably. Just like I'm sure this game will eventually get a ton of mods. <laughs> which is truly at the point in which we will come back. Okay, so that's the difference, the only difference that they're telling, at least, about the Brigo deb debate. But the Marshal doesn't hate you. That basically, uh, we sided with Brigo, so we get his people as an uh, armory master. If we sided with the Rangers, or just arrested him from the get-go, not Rangers, the Marshals, then Delega Delgado would be our uh, armory master. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, so as I can tell, no real major issue. Anything good? Tactical armor helmet and savage helmet. Now those look very nice. That said, it's better than what I'm currently wearing. Yeah, I'm gonna put that Savage Helmet on... Oh wait, she doesn't have Strength 5. Uh, I guess that Helmet. <laughs> By the way, that Machine Shop Helmet gives you a bonus to mechanics. Hmm, makes sense. Um... Uh, by the way, it looks like, looks like Rank can level up. Yep. into intelligence. Uh, animal whisperer. Queer mm. uh, science. And animal trainer. That should make her pets a lot more survivable. CO around oh, here. Okay. This doesn't let uh, me. Okay. Quality setup this time. Better than back in AZ. Guess Daddy Buchanan's buying you all the good gear. 
Do you want to pick a fight? I guess you've been to Rangers City Alton, huh? I helped the Rangers during their whole Cochise debacle. They might have come out strong if they'd listened to me. Too bad. Mm -hmm. So, who are you? Gary Wolf, <laughs> freelance security consultant and synth hunter. Got a proposition for you. Synth hunter, huh? Sounds familiar. Oh, wait. <laughs> Cheese and themselves. I figure somebody competent had to chase down its mechanical brood. So I recruited folks who'd lost family to since, and I formed a posse. Decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ. Then heard a few headed east and followed them here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. That's where you come in. Interfering bitch told the marshals to shoot us on sight if we stepped inside the city limits again. So we can't go after this October 11th synth. Was hoping you might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash bounty for its head. Yeah, that's an interesting name. Yeah, no idea why. Synths are weird that way. It and another synth called Tourmaline Cade some sieves on over here, just for kicks. So watch yourselves. Hmm. Eleven is a stone killer. You've got to be neutralized before it kills again. And killing it will help us find its comrades. How are we killing October Eleven? Help us find others. All synths got the radio in their heads. It lets them hmm. communicate long distance and triangulate on each other. Okay. Once I crack Eleven's head open, I'll hack it for their locations. Yeah, you want to go after the I others too? It, I guess. I'll make it worth your time. Wait, did they see you when ban you from hunting in Colorado Springs? We cornered Eleven downtown and tried to take it out quietly. But there was a snap and we had to open fire. Shot up the street. Moving some sieves. Yeah, that was Silly the way bitch wouldn't listen when I warned her about the synth. Acted like we were the problem and sent us packing. Yeah, that will do it. Yeah, yeah. I just will ask about that. Are you kidding me? Cochise is the ranger's greatest enemy. A supercomputer that almost exterminated them twice and which built an army of synths to kill every last human on Earth. Rangers aren't training their recruits at all these days, are they? Hmm. Okay, I got a feeling I already know who it is, but we'll add it to our list and... we'll see. <laughs> add it to your list? Ought to be your top priority. Sorry about that, ain't how it works. Whatever. We'll wait here until you bring back its head. Should still be downtown somewhere. You'll know you're near it when you start hearing weird static on your radio. Squad, at ease. Hmm. Stay sharp. First of all, what are you doing? Just gonna look around. We have new staff members, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Jody wants something. Who does? Jody. Oh, uh, I don't know. Get over here. Probably to join our Come party. Say hey, when you're free. hey, I'm feeling much better now. Ready to help out any way I can. Yeah. Happy about how things are going so far? Uh, it's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine, I guess. Not really inspiring anybody, but that's not really our job, is it? Our job is to save the folks back home, and... Well, I'm pretty sure we'll get there. We can try harder, though. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. Uh, what talents do you have? 
You bet. Ready when you are. So, snipers, mechanics, first aid. I just noticed it. Hmm? Unequipped. I just noticed it unequipped a weapon. I had equipped again. Hmm. It's also a level 5 driver. I guess it's just a... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it, it assigns us a class name based on the skills we pick, it seems. Hmm. Like, Fluffy's a level 7, I mean Fee's a level 7 custom. Rans a level 6 trooper. And Lucia's a level 6 gunslinger. Hmm. What do you think? Want a sniper? Huh? Hmm? We already have one. Also, level 6 thug. Okay. Hmm. Wish I could see more of our stats. People down here, so let's see what this guy has to say. Here to serve. Nothing. But this is interactable. Oh. This is how you interact. Customize the uh, thing. <laughs> Full self-driving module. Yeah, it allows you to control the Kodiak remotely during combat. Also great for parallel parking. Ornament. Sick of dodging reckless drivers? Fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Consolidated Atomics has the answer. Introducing Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an expert driver, navigator, and auto mechanic all in one. Hermes remembers your daily commute, gathering up to the minute hmm. traffic reports to plot the quickest route to your destination. The AI also takes care of basic maintenance, keeping your vehicle in peak condition. Visit your local dealership for information on a Hermes upgrade kit today. Consolidated Atomics, 21st century solutions for the problems of today. Okay then. Found the armory. Hmm. Oh, the nightclub paraphernalia kind of gave it away. <clears throat> Bag of donuts. And Mr. Brigo sent me down, you know, as thanks for helping him out with his uh, trouble. Yeah. Apparently, I'm supposed to be your new armory guy. That's good. You know, I know my way around this stuff. Cool, cool. What? I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna skip that option. Yeah, no reason to spread rumors about their own squad. She got there. Let me show you. Yeah. And we get a discount. The Rangers. Jawbreakers. 
I don't think those are actually that good. Where? Uh, one of the weapons. Oh, I see him. Laser shotgun. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's a motherfucking laser shotgun. What more could you want? It's also apparently small arms. Well, yeah, shotguns are small arms. I uh, guess. Uh, Listen, are you gonna tell the game what to think? Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Imp grenades. What'd you just buy? <laughs> Dibs. Go ahead. I mean, I'm the one with the small arms. Well, that and Lucy, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, well. Ten to f no, the Bren is uh, definitely not a viable weapon. He actually doesn't have all that much. Got some mods. We can let's see. We can sell some stuff like Road Warrior, Coach Guns, the Gutter Snake. You know all the junk. Should probably also buy a few of um, these. What? What did you buy? Energy cells. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Like, sure, different normal weapons use different types of ammo, but all of the energy weapons use energy cells, so we're going to need a lot of those. <laughs> you think? Yeah, I do. Let's see, we can sell the Mercury more. Scout bombs. Probably don't need the water snake. <laughs> Fuck you, I have a laser shotgun. <laughs> no, we don't need the gutter snake, we don't need the road warrior. We don't really need the Dorsey gut ripper. Oh, that one. Don't need the coach gun because the pump action shotgun's actually better. You keep the Ergon Lance and the Pulse Gun because, of course. Well, yes. Because when we find a giant robot scorpion that's, that every Wasteland game has, we're gonna want laser guns. I mean, it's in the main menu, so... Yeah, it's in the trailers. That too. Granted, we're gonna have better laser guns by then, I'd hope. Yeah, but... I also hope that the... Robot Scorpion's not the only robot we're gonna face. Yeah. Also, it occurred to me, it didn't occur to me about a minute ago, that guy's nickname was NACL. Salt. He what? was a rather angry motherfucker. Uh, NACL is the chemical compound for table salt. Yeah, but who's guy? The wolf, the guy oh. outside. Uh, yeah, he was pretty angry. There's the doctor. We might as well get healed. Uh, healing is this doctor over here. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Ranger. That's her. Thanks again for letting me work I for know, you. This work. is so exciting. Well, I might as well check what he's able to do. <laughs> what are you working on? An army of unstoppable spider minions. What? Pump no, shotgun. No, I mean a Kevlar bikini. What? <laughs> I'm not sure which one of those is worse. Uh, maybe he's just being sarcastic. Probably. I hope he's being sarcastic. Uh, are you enjoying the, the work? I... I am so happy. I'm learning so much. All my life I wanted to be a scientist, but all I could do was read the books and dream. 
And now I can actually do things. It's incredible. Hmm. Why do you think of Dr. Parker? He's wonderful. He's almost as smart as Dr. Finster, but without all the, um, you know, evil. <laughs> I don't like the other one, so I'm just gonna say bye. I'm, I'm curious. He probably oh, can't, God. but. Uh, yes, theoretically. I can have the machine take your genetic material and run the process, uh, but, um, no guarantee what comes out the other end. I did make a few tweaks to the process, though, so whatever it is, it probably won't be so angry. Probably. Never mind. Nope. Nope. That's probably a good idea. That's probably a solution for, like, if one of us dies or something. Thank you, Rangers. You saved my life. Or if you just really want to do something Rangers? stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Do you see? Do you see the spread room or something here? No. Oh, hang on. Ready? Uh. uh yeah, I'm just gonna. No. It's gonna get patched. Of course, no sense in bleeding all over the place. Have a seat. Yay! Hang on a second. Are you looking up what spreading rumors does? I won't. Maybe. I never do. <laughs> Yeah, apparently all it is is co-op hijinks. Yeah, kind of fear. Well, we still need one so thing what the, for... what the fuck point even is it? see. Hey, why don't we, uh... Open them up. I think I want Gander over at the brig and um, admire our new set piece that we've got lounging around in it. Follow the big angry shotgunner. Jump off one, too? Huh? Never mind. Just be glad the Rangers picked you up and not the Marshals. Or else, you know where you'd be. Uh, do not mind me. Is that what you wanted to. <laughs> Let's see what she has anything to say about him. Rangers. I know I advocated for freeing that fellow we found locked up in here. Kind of having second thoughts now. Just something not right about him. Hope we won't regret it. Now. Hmm. What can I do for you? How are prisoners? McTavish was pretty surly when he was brought in, but he's mellowed a little since we got to talking. Well, then, we have a Did he tell you that his Taylor? Injuries came from just a few hours up on the pillories for a relatively minor crime. Violence begets violence begets violence. I'm yeah. not saying he's not culpable. All those deaths during the Dorsey raid are his to answer for. But had he been given real justice instead of having his body mangled, maybe those people would be alive today. What I did to that one. Yeah. Which is why we opted to bring him here rather than to the marshals. I mean, the only reason why I voted to bring him here is because we're here to make a showing of actual justice. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have just shot him and got it done. Can I borrow your mirror again? Sure, whatever you need. 
Well, I guess that's that. that. And we're no starting problem. to run down again, so... Before your mic fucks up even more somehow, I think it's a good time to call it. Oh dear, what is this? Time to make this place shine. Okay, it's just customized. Mob, let's get to work. A mob? I'm a ranger. You're a ranger who was assigned to me. Get going. <laughs> said, a life of adventure, they, they said. said. Nuts. <laughs> it's so amusing to see all the various conversations here. It is. Meanwhile, in the roof garden of the Hotel Pimlico. Roger well, I guess next time we're going to go to um, one of these out outer destinations. Yeah, probably draw more heights for a welcome guest. For now, though, I hope you have fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye.